Welcome to the Reference USA tutorial on searching for businesses using SIC or NAICS codes. SIC stands for Standard Industrial Classification, while NAICS stands for North American Industry Classification System. NAICS is the product of coordinated efforts between Canada, the US, and Mexico to develop a system for labeling industries and comparing like business indicators. SICs are US-based and used to designate the processes which are used by a company. Now don't let this confuse you. The important thing to know is that you can use both codes to search Reference USA for business data. SIC codes are either two, four, or six digits long. The longer the number sequence, the more specific the type of business an industry will be. Industries and businesses are grouped in common areas to make the system easier to use. NAICS are two to eight digits long and grouped into categories similar to SICs. Let's look at an SIC example, retail trade, so we can get a better understanding of how NAICS and SIC codes work. The two digit range for retail trade is 52 to 59. The SIC of 56 deals specifically with apparel and accessory stores on a general level. Adding more codes will make it more specific. So 5611 is for men's and boys clothing stores. We can still add two more digits to specify what kind of clothing at the men's and boys stores. For example, adding a 06 means we're looking for jeans, and while adding a 10 is for shirts retail. Now let's get into the Reference USA database and demonstrate how SIC and NAICS codes can be used. First, we need to enter the U.S. Business section and get to the Custom Search tab. Here we're on the Quick Search tab. Here's Custom Search. Once we're on the Custom Search section, we're going to want to hit Expand All here so that we can see all of the search options. And here in the Business Type section is where we can find our SIC and NAICS area. I'll also select Major Industry Group so I can show a little breakdown of SICs later in the presentation. Notice that you can configure the database to search by SICs or click here and then you'll be just searching by NAICS codes. You can also use the SIC Lookup section or NAICS Lookup section to find businesses and codes. So let's say I'm looking for nonprofit organizations. The best way would be go to the end section and then scroll through until you find nonprofits. Here's nonprofit. As I click on it, you'll see it's been added. I could do multiple selections here if I wanted. When you're finished, hit the done button and you'll see that it's saved my code right there in the box for me. If you already know the codes, you can type them in the individual boxes or some users will have already the SIC or NAICS codes in a different document such as a Word document you can cut and paste those here in the box Let me go down to the major industry group and show you. Before we looked at retail trade quickly, of course it's anything between 5.2 and 5.9. You can use this section here and anytime you see a plus sign, expand it. We had looked up apparel and accessory stores previously. Let's say I'm looking for electronics. I'd go to the home furnishing section. Here we go, radio and, radio and TV electronic stores. I'll expand that one further. Now I'm into the six-digit SIC codes. And here it is, electronic equipment and supplies retail. So there's a couple different ways to use the SIC code. Notice here along the top as well, I have it set to search for all SICs 
meaning anywhere in a company's business profile where that SIC shows up, we'll pull back those results. You may want to search for primary SIC only. The best way to explain this would be, let's say I was looking for those electronic retail stores, and the code was 573117 for electronic retail. Right now I'm searching for all SICs. I'll hit the update count button so you can see how many records there are. There's over 23,000 in the US. Now this is going to include stores like Target and Walmart. They're actually department stores and that's what their primary SIC code would be. However, those stores also sell other things such as clothing, home accessories, toys, electronics equipment, etc. If you just wanted to find companies that specifically deal with electronics and have that as their primary SIC, make the switch here. And now notice how my record count is going to change. I hit update count and it drops down to 12,332. Let me show you quickly a full record so you can see where within each business record you can find the primary SIC and NAICS code. So let's go to this Radio Shack location. I simply click on it and very near the top it's going to have the industry profile. Here it is and you can see the green check mark indicates the primary SIC and primary NAICS code which is electronic equipment and supplies. They also do a computer and equipment they are electronic equipment suppliers for repair, and they also do federal government contracting. And that concludes the tutorial on searching by SIC and NAICS codes. Be sure to watch our other videos on searching and navigating Reference USA.